Hey there, welcome to Life Noggin. I'm Blacko. And I'm Steven Suptic. We've all heard the phrase, laughter is the best medicine. But why do we laugh in the first place? If we find that out, maybe we can get this world laughing even more. Right after I get my own stand-up comedy special on Netflix, because it seems like everyone's getting those nowadays. So, uh, <laughs> these things, huh? What do they even do anyway? Am I right? I'd like to see more. <laughs> Just kidding. Awful performance. Encore, though. It seems that laughing might be a little more hardwired into us than you might think. Infants laugh very early in life, usually learning how to laugh before they can speak. Not only that, but people that are born blind and deaf can still exhibit laughter. One study found that the laughter produced from deaf participants was fundamentally similar to that produced by normal hearing individuals, backing up the idea that laughter is grounded in human biology. It's also been theorized that laughter predates human speech by potentially millions of years, being a simpler form of communication. Laughter is thought to have likely helped earlier people negotiate group dynamics and establish hierarchy. I can't even imagine trying to explain that I'm a little goofball using only laughter. So if laughter actually is instinctually part of humans, then why do people laugh? It seems like laughter is more of a way for people to better handle stress and make situations feel less threatening than laughter only being about things that we find to be funny. In practice, with a study of 1,200 people that laugh spontaneously in their natural environments, only about 10 to 20% of the laughing episodes followed anything that the researchers found to be joke-like. Finding something funny still seems to play a part in why we laugh some of the time, but laughing to make yourself feel better about your next difficult exam might be just as probable as cracking up over that joke you just heard. And what's the deal with airline food? Am, am I right? Honestly bad. Bad performance. But no matter what makes us laugh in the first place, can laughter have any positive effects on people? Many will say that it makes them feel good, but it seems that laughing can do even more for you than that. In a recent series of experimental studies that were both held in a laboratory and through naturalistic contexts, people's pain thresholds were significantly higher after laughter than in the control group. This pain tolerance was found to be due to the laughter itself and not simply from a change in positive effect. Researchers at the University of Maryland Medical Center also found that laughter can increase blood flow by dilating the inner lining of blood vessels. Their findings show that the benefits of laughter appeared similar to aerobic exercise or the use of cholesterol-lowering drugs. I'm no doctor myself, but I'd say we could all use a little more laughter in our lives. So what makes you laugh? Let me know and give me one of your best jokes down in the comments. I might just respond if I get the giggles. If you want to see more of Steven in the real world, make sure you go check out his hilarious channel and let him know we sent you. At least a couple days. A couple days? So. It's a volleyball court, not a mastodon. I was right. It wasn't a mastodon. At least we were being kicked off by platinum security, which made me feel just a little bit more important. I'm Blacko. This has been Life Noggin. Don't forget to keep on thinking.